Hey folks, you know, tranquility lies at the end of the road. However, we do have the power to harness the sun. Welcome back to the old jar hit. Today, we're gonna dive into the world of off-grid power and the Sun Gold Power 4000 watt pure sine wave inverter charger. Well, let's start with what makes that inverter a bit of a game changer. Not only does it produce good clean power, it's pure sine wave. It's a 4000 watt inverter with a very strong surge so you, you've got the power to start up tools, folks. I can run my table saw or my skill saw off this inverter out here in the middle of nowhere without running my generator. But can you really run power tools off of this inverter, folks? <laughs> well, check it out. Now you might be thinking, oh yeah, Eric, but that's short stuff, right? Let's do something with a little length to it, see how it handles that. Oh, the rain is back, folks. Can't win for losing. I was hoping to get out there and run the sawmill a little bit more today, but uh, I don't think that's gonna happen. I went ahead and covered everything up and lubed it up and put the rail covers on. I left the band on it so I could use it later if I want to, but all right, let's get this turned on because then we'll see just how well that inverter charges up those batteries. Oh, oh, it's bourbon 30, folks. Been a long day. All right, let's get inside. It's so hot in there, I'm gonna take my shirt off, go down to a t-shirt. 75 degrees in the cabin. Oh, I'll be lucky if it's 50 out here. But I got new kindling, look at that. <laughs> I'll bring that in and throw that into Darcy's box in a minute. First, I'll pick this up. Oh, all that cut on that inverter. That's what I do for kindling. Is uh, pieces of wood that I'm not going to use for anything else. When you make your own, you can do that. All right, let's go in and get this done. Make sure that that inverter charger's charging. When we check the battery after uh, after cutting everything, it was at 26.2, 26.6. We're <laughs> rocking, folks. We're running on input power. It is a bit low at a 115. Strange. Output 117, 119. So it's a little fluctuating. So the generator, 10 years old. Eh, you know. 10, 11 years old, it's still doing its job. It's at 61 Hertz, should be 60. So it's a little bit, not perfect, but I'm gonna call it good. We're gonna let that charge up. That's not the inverter's fault if the generator's not quite dialed in. I need to get it dialed in. Probably need to see if there's a something on there I can tweak to adjust the voltage on that generator. Might have to check with Genrack. They don't even make that one anymore. All right, let me get this shirt off and kick back and relax a little bit. Well, folks, that's pretty impressive, but I can also charge up all my lithium batteries, which on a modified sine wave inverter, you really can't do. Now my last pure sine wave inverter, I could do it with that one too. This inverter has a lot more features that the old one didn't have. In fact, one of them that in my last video about this inverter, I thought I would not use, and that was the battery temperature sensor. Well, guess what, folks? I will be using that because this inverter will actually stop charging if the batteries get too hot. Really? Wow, that's amazing. So not only does it have a better remote, I can see what my voltage is right now. 
I can see my input power, my output power, what my power looks like, my state of charge on my batteries, and, and you know, is it as good as a trimetric meter state of charge? I don't know yet, folks, but it does have a battery ramp on total power right there based on what you set it for charging. It is set so that you can charge different at three different settings for just lithium batteries themselves. It has a wide range of batteries that this inverter charger can be set up to a charge. Plus, you can dial in that 50 amp charger to go to 100% all the way down to 0%. The point is, if 50 amps is too much for what you've got, you can dial it back. But if you need all 50 amps, dial it all the way up. So, I mean, this is a pretty nice system. I'm really impressed with it. But how does it perform in the real world, right? That's what you want to know. How about airing up the tires on your truck with a compressor? <laughs> yep, that's a Milwaukee 150 PSI compressor there, folks. I just ran that compressor off that inverter. Gotta love that, folks. Not only will it power my tools, but it'll keep my batteries charged up. It'll run all my lights. This is a completely off-grid cabin, folks. I've got a refrigerator that's all electric right behind me here. It runs that just fine. So I'm, I'm actually running my big light to film this right now off that inverter. And it's good, clean, solid light. There's no flicker. Folks, I'm impressed with this inverter. My old one, my Ames inverter, there's nothing wrong with that inverter. It was a good inverter but it's 10, 11, almost 11 years old now. It didn't have LifePo 4 battery settings. It didn't have a LCD remote. I couldn't tell what was going on in here. It didn't have a auto gen start switch. So now I've got automatic generator start. I've got a battery temperature line to the inverter that will tell it to shut off the charger if the batteries are too hot, which could come into play in the summertime, though I have it in a room that Probably not. Awesome remote, easy to set switches. It's even got a GFCI 120 volt plug-in right on the front of it. I mean, that this thing is loaded with features. I'm impressed with it. Installation was a breeze. I mean, <laughs> I, I showed you that in my last video. I'll drop a link down below if you didn't see it, but it was easy to install, super easy to set up. And I have to tell you, the instruction manual is excellent. It was easy to read. It was in plain English. This is not an instruction manual like you see on a lot of stuff that you get from overseas, folks. This was a readable, usable instruction manual that absolutely made it easy for me to figure things out. In fact, I was thinking that maybe the battery charger wasn't on, so I went back into the back room and I checked it out and it was actually working. I just hadn't seen the voltage come up in the, in the front here yet on the remote, but I was able to flip through the book, check, double check all my settings, and the book was easy to read, easy to check. I, <laughs> this is a pretty amazing little product here. I'm impressed. Price comparison to the Ames is about $400 cheaper too. So I'm gonna drop a link down below for you to check it out, folks. Absolutely, I'm impressed with this. I think it's a great inverter. If you're looking to build an off-grid system, I know there's lots of companies out there. So I would say that the Sun Gold Power pure sine wave inverter isn't just a piece of equipment, but it's kind of a gateway to independence, folks. Whether you're trying to power your off-grid cabin like I am, or provide emergency power to your house, I think that this inverter is one that's well worth looking at. Well, thanks for joining me today in this little off-grid power adventure, folks. I really appreciate it. I know my channel might seem all over the board to you. I do sawmilling. <laughs> I do all kinds of stuff, fallen trees, thin forests, and, and off-grid power. But I have to tell you, that is living off-grid. And yes, I don't live here full-time anymore, but I'm here a heck of a lot, folks. I spend quite a bit of every month out here, and, and I'm totally off the grid. I don't even have internet. No phone, no internet, no cell coverage, nothing. 
So I really am at the end of the road and tranquility really does lie at the end of the road, especially when you've got a good off-grid power system. So if you like this kind of content, folks, if you like some off-grid mixed in with some sawmilling to build extra parts of the cabin or forestry thinning or whatever, I mean, I do it all out here, folks. If you like that kind of stuff, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. It really helps the channel out. I'm going to drop another video right here for you to check out. Thanks for watching, folks. The old jarhead out.